Welcome back into DSI, Trey. Nearly 70,000 people yeah. ran headfirst into the capital city of the state of Delaware last week. NASCAR invaded Dover for the Apache Warrior 400, as we mentioned last week. This was the second time around for NASCAR in the capital city. Of course, all the fans were taking it in. Yeah, yeah. check out the thousands upon them. thousands on hand. The last time we were at Dover in June, if you can remember, Jimmy Johnson took the checkered flag. Of course, the biggest applause went to the sport's <laughs> biggest superstar, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in his final appearance, appearance in Dover. He would go on to finish seventh, earning his first top 10 finish in the last 12 races. All of the other racers there getting huge applauses. Of course, the biggest going to Earnhardt and fan favorite and 11 time champion Jimmy Johnson. Trey. That's right. Why not? And in the action, Chase Elliott actually led a race high 138 laps, including 59 of the final 61 of the race. That's operative. Word, only yeah. to be overtaken by Kyle Busch in the number 18 car. Yeah. Busch earned five pivotal playoff points and now enters the quarterfinal round with a 33 point edge on ninth place in the cup championship series. Uh, not as much as the disappointment today. So that's, uh, man, such a, such a bummer, such a, uh, such a disappointment for my team. Um, don't really have a whole lot to add. Uh, it wasn't until about four to go, I guess, when I went back to the outside and made up ground on them. You know, I mean, through the entire run, I was, I was gaining on them. Um, and closing in and closing in, but man, you don't ever really think you're going to get the job done or make a pass until you're actually there and alongside the guy because the, the racing surface here, you can be fast on the bottom, have somebody plug it up and, and be faster on the top, or there could have been a lap car that went to the top and slowed me down, you know, but there just, there just wasn't. So um, it just kind of, the way it happened, it just worked out perfect for us. So four to go, I figured, okay, I, I got my momentum back rolling on the outside. I'm gaining on him. I'm gaining on him. And then finally off of two, I, I had a run and, and he gave me room to his outside. So that was right there was the seal in the deal. Hey, was Chase Elliott getting ready to cry? Today? Yeah, There's a little no bit. Crying. I mean, we're talking about he's, 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 20, he's 21. Come on. You know, man. he wanted to Come win on. the race. But he's Trey, rich. I had so much fun covering the race last week, the Apache race in Dover. But if you think that was a great finish, Chase uh, actually trying to pretty much, you know, win it <laughs> and up until the final two laps. You got to stick around for our plays of the week coming up in less than two minutes. You do not want to miss them. My name's Emily McAllister and I run cross country for Snow Hill and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.